Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. And while I do some flight sim flying today, I want to talk about an announcement that I want to make. So, um, this has been a long time coming actually, because I've been asked about it in the past uh, before and decided to do it, but then just kind of forgot about it for a bit. But um, now I'm following through with it. And that is that the channel is getting a Patreon page. So you probably know what Patreon is. Like, uh, you know, quite a lot of creators use it so that people who want to support them can support them through uh, an official channel um, and also maybe get some, you know, extra perks out of it, uh, which I'm also planning to sort of implement. Uh, it's nothing, not, nothing too crazy, but um, I want to show my thanks uh, for helping out a bit. So, um, yeah, so Patreon's a way to uh, financially support creators on a monthly basis. Um, I think, like, I have currently configured three tiers. Uh, I don't really expect anyone to use the second and third tier. I pretty much expect everyone to go for the first, which is three euros a month. The others are nine and 25 euros a month, which is just the default number um, that Patreon suggests. Um, so, yeah, the um, benefits of each tier are pretty much exactly the same. It's just uh, a different amount of uh, financial help that I receive from you. So if you're feeling generous, then you can use extra tiers, but uh, y you get exactly the same benefits. And first of all, the benefit is uh, my gratitude, because... Um, yeah, I, I will thank you a lot for supporting the channel, uh, helping out to acquire new hardware um, and uh, new equipment for the channel. Um, and yeah. Um, other benefits is that patrons will get some input into what kind of videos um, the money will be used for. So like if, um, you know, if, if people donate, and then I'll go, uh, I'm mostly in it for the repair content, then I will use the money that I make from Patreon for repair videos, for like buying replacement parts, uh, soldering equipment, or just also more um, hardware to fix. Um, and yeah, so you, you, do, you do get to have a say um, what the uh, Patreon money is used for. Uh, depending on what people sign up for. Um, other than that, uh, you will also get access, uh, like early access to videos that I've uploaded, because um, sometimes I make a lot of videos in a quite short time, and because of the YouTube algorithm, I can't just go out and release them all at the same time. Uh, that's a pretty bad idea. So you wanna space them out with like at least one probably two or maybe three days in between. Um, and, you know, while those videos are sitting uploaded on YouTube ready to release, but I can't really because of the algorithm, uh, I might as well put them uh, as unlisted into a patron-only playlist so patrons can watch them early. Uh, similar idea with uh, patron-exclusive videos. Um, I think I'm gonna handle that quite similar to how Boltzoid does it, um, where some videos are specifically made to be patron exclusive so like something like more behind the scenes uh, stuff um, or just generally videos that I think will be more interesting for patrons and less interesting for the general audience for the channel and sometimes you will also have videos that I decide to just not publish um, or maybe early versions of videos that I'd upload but then decide to reshoot um, you will you, you should also get access to those. Uh, that will be in another separate unlisted playlist. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that's the sort of planned benefits that you will get from supporting me on Patreon. Um, the benefit list does not include a Discord server at the moment. It is potentially planned, should um, enough demand be there but right now I don't think there will be enough demand to justify making a Discord server. The only use that I think I could at the moment get out of it is posting like patron videos instead of putting them in a playlist. 
Um, but I could also just do it with a playlist. Like, as long as the unlisted playlist remains unlisted, no one who is not on Patreon won't be able to access it. Uh, or, like, will be able to access it. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Because, you know, it's a pretty typical thing for um, Patreon supporters to receive access to a Discord server. But, um, I... Yeah, I just don't think the demand will be there for it. Uh, I, I don't expect to get very many patrons uh, in, like, the first year or even more than that. Maybe, like... I'm expecting between, between one and two people. <laughs> um, maximum of three at the lowest tier. And... Yeah, having a Discord server population of, like, three or four is uh, not really something that I think... Uh, is worth getting into, like, making a Discord server for. Um, as for other users of the Discord server, instead of just posting videos which is, like, mainly talking and, like, maybe discussing some channel stuff, discussing the channel stuff can also be done on Patreon, somewhat, uh, like I said, with the uh, content direction. Um, but, yeah, I can kind of see the argument for having more detailed discussions about the channel. Like, as I said, I will be looking into a Discord server. I just don't think the demand is there for it right now. Um, and if you really, really have to talk to me about something, I always have my email in the uh, channel page on YouTube. And you can also just go to, um, for example, uh, Bullzoid's patron Discord server. Uh, and talk to me there, because, like, we do have a lot of overlap in the, um, like, sort of market that we're in, so if if you're considering to donate to my patron, there's a pretty high chance you're already donating to his patron, so you're on his server anyway, uh, and if you're not, I'm also on the HW bot server, um, so, yeah. Like, uh, don't, don't take this as a send me unsolicited repair, uh, uh, like, what's the what's the word? Uh, like, I get a lot of emails from people asking if I can repair their GPUs, and generally, uh, I don't like I don't accept those. Um, sometimes I do, because sometimes the uh, cards come with a uh, the, the card is trash anyway. I would be throwing it away. I, I don't need it back, uh, and and then I'm fine with that, but if uh, it's, like, an expensive card that people still intend to use, then I don't think my skills are good enough yet to do that, um, and, yeah, like, I, I don't want to be at risk of breaking people's stuff, basically, um, so pretty much the only cards that I accept for sort of repair is is when they come with a clause of either you can keep it or if it doesn't work out you can keep it and, and only send it back if it works um, though I would only be doing that for like recent cards like I had a 1080 Ti once that came with that clause um, that one did not work out it had a dead core so I ended up uh, not having to send it back but if, if I repaired that one I would have sent that one back though that 1080 Ti also came with three other cards that uh, I could keep no matter what happened to them um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, co coming back to it, you can talk to me, um, on Discord if you really have to, or send me an email. It, it, it's just not meant for people asking me if I can repair their stuff. It's like, other questions. <laughs> like, if you have an overclocking, uh, or like a very specific repair question you can you can tell me that in discord but i'm not gonna do a hey can you just in general help me troubleshoot this because my uni semester just started and i just don't have the time for that like uh i'm yeah like this channel is still my hobby and my education comes first so if i don't have the time i will also not make time for it the the channel gets done in free time um so yeah um that's basically it and i think coming back to um sending in stuff again um 
like I'm fine with people sending in stuff as long as they don't necessarily need it back. Um, so if you have like old hardware that it's just literally trash, um, or old hardware that you don't think is worth putting on eBay, um, but still don't need, um, you know, if it's something interesting for overclocking, then yep, yeah, sure you can send me an email uh, if if you want to send something in. Um, I will also take dead hardware, as, assuming it's like something worth fixing. Um, it's just uh, I won't really accept things that that's like oh here here's a broken like thirty seventy can you fix that for me so I can game on it that like. Yeah, B basically anything that I might have to send back, I'm not gonna really generally accept. Uh, unless edge cases where the 1080 Ti was, where, you know, like, uh, if it doesn't work out, uh, doesn't, don't care, can keep it. Um, and if it works, then yeah, maybe send it back. But like, it also came with a bunch of other stuff that I didn't need to send back. Cause, cause then, then it's worth it because like, uh, there's also shipping costs, especially if you're outside the EU and then just sending in a card that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fix just, you know, kind of waste <laughs> in my opinion. Like I'm not that great at repairs yet. I might look like it from the videos to a beginner, but I'm really not that great at repairs yet. Um, which is kind of the idea of Patreon again. Because I I can only get better if I keep doing it and keeping like keep doing repairs without taking other people's stuff in for repair means that I have to buy broken things and even broken things are sometimes quite expensive. Um, so yeah. Um, but I think basically that should be it. Like it's it's just meant as a as a small um, announcement of like hey yeah so the the channel has a patron page now if you want to support me feel free to do it I will be very grateful for it um, I'm not expecting anything like I I don't expect to make like any meaningful amount of money from this but every little bit helps um, and you you do get some small goodies uh, from it so. You know, if it's interesting, um, then sure, feel free to check it out. And yeah, again, I will be grateful for any amount of help that you can give. And that should be it. So until next time, goodbye. <laughs>